For more about the potential danger of drugs imported from overseas, we are joined tonight by our own Peter Eisner. He's the former deputy foreign editor of the Washington Post. And as you'll recall, provided us with a signature story on this very topic just a few months ago. Hello, Peter. Hi, Martin. So how widespread is the threat here from these generic drugs made in India? In this case, we seem to have gotten away without having a serious problem. Uh, the FDA, luckily, was able to track this particular set of drugs from this particular manufacturer, and they say that they were able to keep any dangerous materials off the shelves. But the larger question is, what eventually can happen with the many increasing number of drugs that are coming into this country? So right now we're okay. Isn't the problem really then we have, you know, all of these generic drugs or many drugs coming in now from overseas and too few inspectors from the FDA to look at them? We found that out in our report last year about heparin. Uh, in that case, the FDA didn't know that these drugs were coming into the country until years after they started arriving and people started dying. In that case, more than 200 people or even more died. So yes, it's a real problem in which the FDA does not have the capacity to track these drugs coming into the country as more and more are entering, mostly from India and China. So what are the prospects then that it's going to get better anytime soon that the Obama administration may try to change this? There's a will to make it better, but it may not really get better anytime soon. Uh, when Tom Daschle was turned down as the head of Health and Human Services, it kind of went down the line in delaying a new administrator for the Food and Drug Administration, which has been under fire for not doing enough to protect us on, the, on these drugs. So without a new administrator, we're going to be waiting some months be before we really know what the new direction is going to be. And even after there's a new administrator, it could be years before the FDA really has a system to systematically track down drugs coming in from overseas that might be dangerous. So in the end, how great is the overall threat? Insiders at the FDA tell us that at any given time, unable to track all of the drugs coming in, we could have a real catastrophe. This is a situation in which the FDA has to depend on other countries which may not have rigorous rules on production of such drugs, and we have to pr hope that the honor system is operating so that nothing dangerous happens, but we'll never know for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Peter Reisner, good to see you. My pleasure.